The discussion of dose-dense cytotoxic chemotherapy began decades ago. Uh, early mathematical models suggested that when escalating the dose of conventional cytotoxic chemotherapy drugs did not yield additional marginal benefits, that scheduling might uh, be an effective alternative strategy. And the specific st scheduling was to give the most effective dose with greater frequency, that is, shorter intervals, what we call dose dense. The big breakthrough that enabled this was the development of growth factors, GCSF uh, and GMCSF in the, in the 1980s and 90s. And so using those drugs, we were able to demonstrate that one could safely uh, give a dose dense uh, schedule of an old conventional chemotherapy. Uh, in the most typical example, this involves shortening the schedule to two weeks instead of three, but giving all the same doses and the same total drug. Ultimately, Mark Citrin's randomized trial in the CLGB was positive, and multiple other studies, not just in breast cancer, but in lymphoma and others, have been generally supportive of this. Uh, today, it seems a little bit like a passe issue, but in fact, it's an established standard, and it's provided a really useful backbone on which we are now hanging the um, uh, targeted therapies coming into clinic. And indeed, you'll see, for example, with trastuzumab, uh, with pertuzumab, and with other drugs in breast cancer, that the chemotherapy backbone, which is still critically important, is the dose-dense schedule.